this is my lathe chuck key that I made years ago. You can see welds aren't really that great. It served a purpose for a long time, but I am going to make a new uh, lathe chuck key today out of some scrap that I have around the uh, garage. Found this three quarter inch stainless. This should work out nicely. Um, just gonna make this like four inches. I'll leave a little extra on there so I can uh, kind of true it up on the lathe. Uh, so let's get this cut off. I'm also gonna cut off about four inches of this uh, 5 16 uh, rod. Um, I'm gonna thread the ends to 5 16 18 because I got some uh, little ball knobs I'm gonna stick on the ends. I think it'll just fit a little better in my hand when I'm using it. Now for the key part of the piece, I just used an end mill to cut down the sides. And I eyeballed it in with a square. Then I took it back to the lathe and I cut in a little recess for my fingers to get a little better grip. After cleaning this up with some sandpaper, I'm going to head back over to the mill and I'm going to drill an undersized hole so the rod will have more of a pressed fit. I put the chuck in the vise. Um, I want to center this up real quick so I can drill a 5 16 hole for the um, T-handle. Um, basically, I'm just going to do it real quick by putting in this ruler and adjusting this back and forth as soon as this levels out i should be about center i need to get in there the camera's in the way that should be about it right there I got all my pieces made here. Um, hopefully this will be a little more press fit into the end. We'll see what we got here. Okay, got that in there. And let's put on the other. Looks like we got it. And there's the finished product. Let's take it over to Leif and see how it fits. All right, let's compare these two. First one, as you can see, a lot of slop. Now for my new one, nice and tight, just the way I like it. And get your mind out of the gutter. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching.